Hi, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge. Today we're going to take a look at the San Ren Mew 7058 slip joint knife with multi tools. Not only is it perhaps ideal for people in jurisdictions with slip locks, I think it's a very functional and adequate uh, EDC, small knife EDC. Uh, for pretty much everybody in whatever jurisdiction you can possibly carry this thing. Let's bring the camera over to the bench and take a good close look at this knife. Okay, here we are to take a look at this blade. It's a nice small knife. It looks like a flipper at first glance, but that's merely another option to the thumb to get it from, uh, to come loose. Um, you wouldn't want it to be able to flip easy because then the uh, the slip joint would be too loose. It would be uh, dangerous. As it is, when you open the knife, it stays put. It takes quite a bit of pressure to make the knife come un... Uh, uh, let's rephrase that. To make it begin to slip. And the added benefit of what looks like a flipper is very apparent when you open up the knife this way, it becomes a finger guard. And when the knife does begin to break, your finger protects your hand from getting cut by the blade coming down. So it's a, it's a safety device, that uh, little piece of metal sticking out. And so you have the option of uh, starting it with the thumb studs or starting it with the, uh, the piece of metal that is sticking out but it's definitely a two-hand open job. Um, you can do it with one hand. I don't think it's the safest to do it with just one hand. Uh, let's look at this two and a half inch knife, uh, 65 millimeters uh, for uh, those who are into metric. There is the ever so slightest recurve down here. It's mostly just belly and fairly close to flat. A nice wedge up top and uh, sort of a sort of a spear pointish drop point look to it. Um, it's only made, let me rephrase that. I don't even have enough experience with 12C27, which is the steel of this knife, to say the word only. Um, I've had a bit of experience cutting with this knife. I find that the steel has been very adequate for the types of everyday tasks that uh, it would be used for. I've not had to resharpen this blade. It's uh, kept the edge just fine. Uh, it might have lost a little bit of its uh, finesse, but it's still a relatively sharp knife. After EDCing it for as my small choice knife for about uh, a week now, uh, the next video that I do will be the large knife that I was carrying. I like to carry two knives, a larger one and a smaller one. Um, this grind on the blade here is a hollow grind so that means you've got a relatively thin steel uh, just under the uh, the cutting edge that will allow you to sharpen this knife a number of times before the steel starts getting too thick um, if i'm on the right angle without a glare you can see that the numbers are imprinted on uh, the edge of the knife here 7098 suxx PH-T4, a long name for a little knife. Windrunner design, it says. So that's the cutting edge. Uh, when you hold your hand on this knife, it uh, is definitely a three finger and mostly a four finger grab. If you've got a medium sized hand or smaller, this will be a very easy, nice holding. And if you've got a large hand like mine, you can still find very adequate purchase to be able to use this knife. Uh, the thumb comes along this nice little um, dip. Instead of a riser, it's a bit of a dip for your thumb on the blade. And, you know, with your finger behind that guard, it's close enough to do nice fine work with this little blade. The only option for the clip is exactly where it's at. Um, they could have perhaps made it on both sides, but since they made the clip have a bit of a curve to the side, it would be coming out this way towards the blade and it wouldn't work. So since they didn't make a straight on clip, this is the only place it can sit. Uh, the clip is holds very well. 
it's actually quite strong. Uh, but since this um, PA66 plastic with glass fiber reinforcement is not as tacky or grippy like G10 is, um, they chose a clip that was perfectly adequate for the task. It works very well. And well, talking about the, uh, the scales, they've got a nice wave design on them and a couple little uh, other, you know, milled out areas. Um, I'm sure it's not milled out. I'm sure this plastic has been pressed and cured. It, it looks nice. It holds nice. You can get this knife also in green. Um, I have seen examples uh, when I did an image search on Google of this model knife with G10 scales in camel print. I've not seen that available in any stores. If you do, I'd like to hear about it because I think I'd like that knife. Um, so yeah, the, the, it's adequate grippiness. Um, it's a, of course, a closed knife. So if it gets dirty, you're gonna have to uh, use some cotton swabs or something to clean that out. The extra tools are what make this as a really choice EDC knife. Um, you've got a cord cutter, seat belt cutter, uh, along with a Phillips screw head. It will take, uh, you know, average size Phillips screws and as long as they're not stripped at all, it will be able to uh, tighten and loosen them. And on the other side, you've got a flat head option and a can opener. A bottle opener, not can opener, I take that back. Bottle opener, flat head screwdriver um, of a small size flat head. You could do some gentle prying with this, but uh, as you can see, it's not a terribly large um, hinge there. It doesn't have a lot of s substance to protect it and hold it strong. So I wouldn't do any uh, you know, big prying with this. And then it's got, instead of a lanyard hole, well, it has a lanyard hole, but it doesn't go through the uh, scales. It just comes out through the liner here. Uh, you can get uh, paracord through there easily enough. You'll just have to flatten a little bit when you push it through. And they've got a quite sharp but tiny glass breaker. It's flat on two sides, so you'll be able to take a needle nose pliers and remove that if you so choose. So you can leave it on there, take it off, uh, it won't make much of a difference. Just remember, if you need to break glass in an emergency, hit the corner of the glass instead of right in the middle. You'll have much more success in shattering the glass. So that's this knife. I think it's a really good secondary knife. Uh, primary knife if you are you know, a city type urban living person. It's a nice small size, two and a half, two point six 2.6 ounces. Uh, that's 74 grams. You know, it's uh, you know very adequate for carrying around. Uh, it's less than three inches long from when it's folded. Very close to three inches, but it's less than three inches. So it's a, it's a very nice choice for a small knife. Remember, guys, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Have a good day.